Hello everyone, this is Albert from Mask Lab, and with me today is accomplished actress and founder of the Honest Hour podcast, Christina Mock. Hello, I'm Christina. So Christina and I have known each other for, I don't know. Two years? Two years. and uh, Not too long. <laughs> but uh, Been through a lot. Been through a lot together. <laughs> um, you know, 2020 was a crazy year, mm -hmm. right? And uh, we all had different ways of, uh, you know, looking at it and, and surviving under 2020, you know, for, us, uh, we started the mask brand, Mask Lab, mm -hmm. um, and you started Honest Hour, yeah. right? You want to talk a little bit about why you started Honest Hour and your whole journey? Oh, oh man. Um, 2020 was probably one of the toughest year of my... Oh my God, I'm going to cry. I'm not, I'm not going to cry. 2020 <laughs> is probably one of my toughest year, and I feel like 2020 was a lesson for all of us. It literally brought me down to my knees. And because it brought me down to my knees, I was looking for a way up. And Honest Hour was almost like my release. And, and I know that it's not just for me. I, I wanted to do something for others. And but I didn't know what to do for others. All I know is how to share my stories and how to share my point of view. So um, I had a few friends and mentors that really encouraged me to just start a podcast and just telling people or sharing my feelings you know if for anyone that have listened to my podcast I just share my feelings I don't offer solutions I don't tell you what to do because I don't even know what to do right. so I just share my share my feelings and share my emotions and I was really surprised by all the feedback and comments and letters that I received from my audience and how relatable we're all, we are all and how everyone is kind of on this journey together and we're not alone so 2020, you know, I feel like that's really the lesson that universe gave me is how to find your own light and how to get back up and how to share that with the rest of the world. Yeah, and I think that message really resonated with people yeah. um, on Honest Hour. I think uh, in society in general, especially in Asia here, uh, we don't really have a venue where we share our feelings. Mm -hmm. And like you said, sometimes it's not about solutions. Sometimes it's just about a place where we can be true right. to our feelings yes. and really just talk about how we feel. And like by doing so, we can kind of uh, get to the answer that we want mm -hmm. ourselves, right? Um, so another, so besides doing the podcast, mm -hmm. uh, obviously we got into this partnership because you're a great painter, you're ah, a great artist. Why don't you tell me a little bit about how you got into painting and, you know, Okay, story. painting. Um, painting, well, I've always liked to draw when I was, since I was a little girl. I've always enjoyed drawing, always enjoyed just, you know, doodling and painting. But I didn't take my, I didn't have my first actual painting class until I think I was a sophomore in college. And it wasn't even like a serious painting class. It was just like an elective, like drawing class. And I just used paint as my main medium to, to, to draw. And, but it, wasn't, it was nothing serious. And it wasn't until I think a couple of years ago, after I moved back to Taiwan, I was in one of those traditional um, bookstores, those stationery stores, and I saw um, a paint set. Uh -huh. and I was like, oh, that looks like fun. I haven't painted in a long time. So yeah, I bought like a $200 NT paint, paint set. I went home and I just started painting. Uh -huh. And one thing led to another. It's, I think it's been like five, five, six years now. That's a long I've time. realized that painting has been such, um, it's, it's, it's been such a healing process for me because when you paint, for me at least, everything just shuts down. Like all the sounds, everything, this whole world quiets down. And it's just me and my paintbrush and my paint and my canvas. So for me, especially, you know, through 2020, 2019, um, painting has been almost like my, my, my healing therapy for me. Whenever I'm feeling down, whenever I'm feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't go on anymore, I paint. And it just, it gives me this whole gush of energy and it gives me a, a release and you know if you go back to my painting you could you could tell like when I had the when I when did I have the good vibes when I was feeling sad it's almost like a almost like a diary in, in a way so for me painting is is really a, a release of energy a release of emotions so when you asked me if if I if we could do a collaboration I was like oh wow that's like the best way to, you know, to, to reflect one, one's emotions. Yeah, so um, 
we have three designs. We will initially you did a few more designs, but we honed in on the three designs. Would you like to talk a little bit um, yeah. about the three designs? Actually, let's let me the get the boxes. Yeah, let's get the boxes. Because it has the messages on yes. top of it too. So these are the three that we did. And I had so much fun um, naming them because I remember when I, you're like, come on, Christina, give me the names, give me the names. And I really wanted to give them some meaningful names instead of just random names. So I really said, I had a glass of wine. I chill on my, I chill on my couch and I was like, okay, I'm gonna name them. So this is the first one that I did, Be the Light. I, I know when I was naming them, I wanted to, to do like a, like a meaningful message behind it. So I'm gonna read it, yep, okay. okay. So, but this mask is be the light. Put on this mask as a reminder that we always have the ability to bring light to our hearts. It is the superpower gifted to us from the universe. We are light. Shine for self, shine for others, and together we illuminate the world. And to me, this is something that's really close to my heart because I feel like being the light, it's something that's so powerful for me, especially in 2020. Um, being the light for yourself, light, lighting up for yourself, lighting up for the world, lighting up for others. Um, and I think that's something that if, if we all, every single one of us on this earth, if we keep this in mind, this world would become a better place. I mean, it sounds really cliche, it sounds really cheesy, but that's really, really how I feel. So when I was painting um, this, this, this drawing, which is over here, it's kind of what I had in mind, like, the, the little sparkles, the little, the little um, gold in, in the darkness. So um, yeah, so this is actually one of my my favorite favorite ones. Oh yeah, it's got the unicorn colors too. Yes, my it. unicorn colors. Yeah, my my my, my signature. Color. My signature <laughs> because my burning my Burning Man name is I'm a unicorn. <laughs> yeah, but we have we also have the other one, this one. So this one is called um, Energy of Love, and the message is. Love is the most powerful energy in the universe. It is the instinctive gift that we are blessed with. Put on this mask as a reminder to always love bravely, love fiercely, and love truly. Um, I think love is the most powerful language of all time. Love could be the answer for everything. And a lot of time we just we forget to love. You know, the love is not just romantic love, it's any type of love. Love is not just anything or anyone. Love is everything. Oh my gosh, I sound like a spiritual teacher. No, no, this is the whole point. This I sound like point. a spiritual teacher. Yeah. Yeah, so at the rainbow to me is just the ultimate symbol for love. Yeah, so that's why when I was painting this, I was like, oh, this is about love. Oh, now I can't wait for the last one. This last one, oh my gosh. <laughs> so when I create, when I was painting this last one, I was with my friends at a cafe and you know I was I was doing these waves and they're like oh it looks like it looks like it looks very mermaidish it looks very like almost like ocean so that's kind of where I got my inspiration it's called the wave waves of hope um, and the message is ride through the waves the light will always be on the other side put on this mask as a reminder to never give up and tell yourself it's okay and I'm okay grind it through the ray of hope will always be beaming and that's something that really resonated with me because, you know, like I said, 2020 literally brought me down to my knees. And there were a lot of times when I was like, oh God, you know? Yeah. But just ride through the waves, you know, grind it through. And I feel like it's such a powerful message for me. And that's something that I want to embody and, and spread. Yeah. yeah. So I wanted to uh, point out that originally when you it came up with these words. It wasn't for uh, the packaging. It was it wasn't. mainly, yeah. It was mainly, you know, we wanted to, you wanted it to be the message that we bring yes. into the masks. But the messages were so good <laughs> that for the first time we actually have uh, have it printed on the box Yay. packaging. So this is the Taiwanese version, um, yes. and it's in Chinese. It's and in we Chinese. have a global version that's in English. Uh, yeah, super excited for these. Yeah, um, really cool. And uh, this is also the first time that we're not. Uh, in our partnership that we're doing it for charity as mm -hmm. well. So a certain percentage of the proceed will go uh, towards a charity yes. of Christina's choice. Yeah. I feel like um, we're so blessed to, you know, especially being in Taiwan, we're so blessed um, that our lives are not as, as affected as the rest of the world. Oh yeah, I mean, look at us. We're yeah. not wearing masks we're not when wearing we masks. talk to each other and yeah. this is like impossible anywhere else. Exactly. Uh, we I, would have to sit really far apart. Right. right? Um, we're so, so blessed. So we're very lucky here in Taiwan. We should be grateful. And 
anything we could do to just give back to the community, give back to the world, I feel like it's the least we could do, especially during this pandemic and this special time of, of the earth, yeah. And for us at Mask Lab, our messaging is always to redefine the new normal. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, if you have to wear a mask, you should wear something that gets you excited. Yeah. Make lemons out of lemonades. Right. And, you know, this is for me. This is like the perfect uh, combination of both art, artistry and right. charity. And uh, this is the new bring... norm. This is the new normal. <laughs> anyway, wearing a mask, yeah. and if we could enjoy wearing a mask, if we could bring beauty and bring art into wearing a mask, I think that could change our, com you know, completely change our perspective of why do we have to wear a mask? Change the perspective of this whole COVID and how this whole world is changing. Yeah. And hopefully, we won't have to wear it for much longer. Yeah. Yeah. The world is healing. Anyway, um, so thank you, Christina. Thank you. Um, yeah, so um, these will be available for sale very soon worldwide in all our web stores, as well as all our retail stores in Taiwan and Hong Kong. And uh, so I want to thank you, Christina, for no. doing this with me. You know, you're a, obviously this is not just for work. It's been fun, you know, just two friends working on something like this. My pleasure. <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned, everybody. Stay tuned. See you next time. Thanks.